Classroom controversy. Sex education books will be allowed at Miami-Dade schools after all. Today, the school board voted to bring them back after rejecting them just last week. NBC6's Kim Wynn joins us live with what made them change their minds. Kim? Yeah, that's right. And there has been just so much back and forth about this issue over the past few weeks. Like you guys mentioned today, the board um, voted to bring back those sex education books that they just rejected last week. Miami-Dade County Public School parents sounded off. Their reactions split on whether or not they want their children using these sex education textbooks. It teaches children how to identify sexual abuse and protect themselves against it. It's time that we stop playing politics and start defending and protecting the children. This is not okay. This is grooming. It's not politics. During an emergency school board meeting Thursday, board members voted five to four to bring back the sex education textbooks it had first approved, then rejected last week, and is now approved again. The sudden reversal caused by Chairwoman Perla Tabaris Hotman switching her vote. I think we uh, corrected uh, a decision that was made that was obviously detrimental to uh, legions of children in Miami-Dade County Public Schools. Sex education is mandated by state law for middle and high school students. The board voted last week against the books after a group objected to the curriculum, saying it wasn't age appropriate. Board member Christy Fraga voted no last week and no at Thursday's meeting. Instead, we went backwards and just approved the material the way it was originally presented. Some parents in favor of the sex ed curriculum started a petition which gathered at least 2,600 signatures in just two days. We need to, to, to give them the tools that they need to make life choices, and I think it's just an essential part of education that we we do this. Um, the fact that it's even under debate is ridiculous in my opinion because it's it's something that even I 40 years ago going to a Catholic school was taught. Other parents disagree. We as parents have a fundamental right to direct the upbringing and education of our children. And it's important to note that parents have always had the right to opt their children out of sex education. For now, we are reporting live in Miami, Kim Wynn, NBC6 News.